Hi, I'm Scott. Today I'm going to show you how I refinish this floor in this camper van on Dad It Yourself. So here's today's project. This is a Ford 350 Transit van. It's a camper van conversion. And let me open the door here. Our project today is to fix this floor. The owner attempted to restain it and didn't apply it correctly. So we have these dull spots and these shiny spots and it was sticky for a bunch of days. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strip this down and we're gonna restain it with a dark walnut. So let's see how we can get this going. So the first thing I'm gonna do is remove this tread so I can get to the edges and then I'm gonna mask off all the toe kicks and stuff so that the new stain doesn't damage any of the white paint. I'm going to need to remove the table stand and probably these cleats too. I've got everything removed and I've masked off. I may have to adjust that piece right there it looks like. But originally I was going to wipe this down with mineral spirits for the sticky stuff but nothing's sticky anymore. It finally dried but as you can see it is blotchy at best. Um, he used a dark cherry stain from Varathane and he actually wants walnut. He wants it to actually match this a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is get out my orbital sander and we're going to try to get down to as close to raw wood as we can without going through the veneer. But actually I think this may be, you know what, this is solid wood and it looks like pine. Yeah, that's definitely pine. So we'll get it down as low as we can and then maybe this will just give it some character if I don't get it all the way up. And then we'll give it a couple of coats of Varathane Dark Walnut and then a couple of coats of shellac and or a polyurethane. And I have to have all this done in four hours. Okay, today's tool of choice is the Surf Prep Random Orbital Sander. This is the Ray 5 and it's got 120 grit on it. I'm also going to be wearing a RZ dust mask and some headphones I picked up from Amazon that are also Bluetooth. And I'll have links to all of these and all the tools I use today down in the description. Well, it's been about an hour, maybe less. Yeah, about an hour. Uh, I switched down to 80 grit with the ra random orbital and it wasn't taken off. I mean, I cleaned this board up pretty good with that, but it took me a while. So I cranked out the belt sander with 60 grit on it and I've taken almost all of the gunky stuff off. So I think that's going to speed things up where I could get to it. And I'm going to switch over to the ram random orbital. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time saying that with 80 grit on it. <coughs> and then uh, keep moving. So almost there. Okay, so I am two hours in and I have done everything I can do with the 80 grit. There's a couple of spots in there. That's actually the original stain up underneath the toe kick. So I don't really have to get under there too good. Just kind of blend it in. I'm gonna jump on this with the 120 and then go up to a 220 and I'll be done. That's gonna go a whole hell of a lot quicker. So I have sanded down to 180 grit. It's really nice and smooth. Got the swirls out of it, uh, the streaks from the belt sander. And now I'm gonna do a preconditioner. If you guys haven't seen my video on staining where I use preconditioner to explain why, uh, I'll have a link up here somewhere. You can take a look at that. So let's go ahead and precondition this, let that dry, and then we're gonna apply some stain. So after laying down that wood conditioner, I wiped it down to get all the excess off of it and I'll let that dry for about 30 minutes and then we'll get to staining. 30 minutes has passed. This is dry to the touch 
and Varathane Dark Walnut. I've got about a third of a can left. I stirred that up pretty good. Hopefully I'll be able to get at least one coat on this and then we'll go from there. Uh, lay it on with the foam brush and then wipe off the excess with the rags and then we'll see how it goes. So there's my first coat. Uh, got some blotching anyways. A little bit over here and a little bit in this back corner. Uh, fortunately he stores stuff there and that's actually underneath the table. So shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I'm going to let this dry and then I'm going to put a second coat on it. Let that sit for a little longer and soak in because we're trying to get a little bit darker. Almost like this back in here. And we'll see. Maybe even leave it on a little longer. Okay, I'm ready for the second coat. I'm going to use a bristle brush now, and I'm actually going to use a dry brush technique in that I can lay down a thick coat and not have to wipe it off so I can kind of feather in these edges and this toe kick and get this a little bit darker. So with the dry brush, just get a little stain on the floor, and then you just use the brush just to kind of keep moving it around. So it starts coloring in and get all that excess up. It's maybe hard to see, but I'll pull all the excess off the surface here so I don't have any lines. And then I'll just keep dry brushing it until it just runs out. And then I try to look for the shiny spots, pull those down, give it a chance to dry. Like I've got some thick stuff right here I need to move over. See how it darkens it up right there. So you can see the difference where I've dry brushed on this side but nothing on this side. So after the dry brush sat for about 30 more minutes I just took a towel and went around and just kind of picked up any of the wetter spots so they don't get sticky and it came out really good. I'm really happy with the tone. I'm in the final stretches of this project. I've already put two coats of shellac on the floor and I'm just waiting for this to dry and I'll put a third coat on, let that dry and then buff it out. My challenge is now I'm starting to lose light and it's starting to get a little bit cold. It's 48 degrees right now and this stuff doesn't work really well in the colder temperatures. Well, as you can see, it is dark. And if you listen carefully, you can probably hear the heater running. Uh, fortunately, it has a heater, so I've been able to keep it nice and toasty in here. Got uh, three coats of shellac on there. What do you guys think of that? Uh, I had to touch up a little right here. That's why it looks a little shinier because I haven't burnished it down. But I'm super happy with how this came out. I'm gonna go ahead and put all the plastic and stuff back in, and then when that dries up in another half hour, we'll burnish that out and it'll be ready to go. It's already dry to the touch. project took me about four hours of actual work, but actually over about six hours time. There's a lot of waiting in between wood conditioner stain and finally the shellac. I would have loved to have used a water-based polyurethane, but frankly it's just too cold for that. This floor will get him through another season and then we'll come around and see if we want to redo the floor or maybe put in a vinyl laminate. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions about this project, put those down below. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and if you do hit the bell for notification i've got some videos over here you may be interested in subscribe buttons right down there thanks for watching doubt it yourself